Welcome to your new position as loader. Your major responsibility as a loader is to get the material on the trucks safely and correctly. In this video, you will see experienced loaders landing material and mounting and dismounting the trailer. Safely. Safety is the prime focus. Please pay close attention. We want you to have a long and safe career. First of all, we'll start with some basic safety cautions. Stay off the trailer as much as possible. Only get on the trailer when it is absolutely necessary. Never stand on the trailer when you're loading plates that are 360 to 480 inches long. Never let a load go over your head. In situations when you do have to get on the trailer, do so by using one of the many ladders throughout the warehouse. Always use a ladder to get on or off the trailer. Be on the lookout for any damaged ladder and report it immediately. Never use the tire and standards to get on or off a trailer. Also, while on the trailer, only stand or walk on the flatbed of the trailer. Never step or walk on the 4x4s that are used to support material. When signaling the crane operator, be sure that your signals are clearly visible. When helping to guide the material into place, always keep your hands on top of the material. Never put your fingers or hands under the material. Also be sure to keep your feet from under the suspended material. No part of your body should ever be placed under any suspended material at any time for any reason. And when working with magnets, be mindful of the magnet's capability. When landing a non-palletized load, place the support beams across the 4x4s at the proper distance to support the load. Here again, clear hand signals are essential to land the load properly. That material comes in many different shapes and sizes. So always be sure that you land the material as safely and level as possible. Be mindful of how the material is packaged so that you may land it with the bands going towards the sides of the trailer and not front to rear. If necessary, adjust the load so that it is properly placed over the support beams. Before loading plates with plate dogs, be sure to remove the standards. Always stand at one end of the plate and out of the path of the load. Again, remember to be mindful of your surroundings and always leave yourself a way out of harm's way. A plate that is carried by only one dog will tend to swing and sway more than a plate that is carried with two dogs. Be sure to stand well clear when landing any dogged plates. When using any under the hook devices such as side hooks, sheet lifters, straps, etc., always be mindful of your hands, feet, and body placement. Also, be sure to use dunnage that leaves enough clearance to safely land material. This will also ensure that the device will be able to be removed without incident once the material has been landed. Listen for the crane operator ringing his warning bell. It's your responsibility to get out of the way. Be extremely careful of your position when landing 60-foot beams. It is safest to load longer material on the driver's side of the trailer, if that's at all possible. This allows the driver to keep their eyes on the material at all times. Once again, clear hand signals are key 
to effectively lan the load. After the material has been safely landed on the trailer, remove the chains by unhooking one end from the crane and throwing or pulling it from the material. Never reach your hand under any material. If the chain gets pinched or in a bind, stand well clear of the area and allow the crane operator to pull it free. Use one of the many available ladders to get on to the trailer. A load on the sheet lifter, like a load on the side hooks, must be landed on board so that the lifter is clear and can be removed. When unhooking a sheet lifter, always reach around the wheel. Reaching through the wheel could cause you to break your fingers, hands, or arms. A non-palletized load can be loaded on top of a palletized load. Use boards to keep the material separate and to allow the sheet lifter the necessary clearance for removal. The boards need to be laid lengthwise, a few inches from the edge, to be sure the sheet lifter can clear them. Be mindful not to place the board so far in that the material is then unbalanced. A load of cold rolled bars is carried by straps rather than chains. As always, stand clear of the load while guiding it into place. Land the load so that the straps are clear of the boards if possible. If the straps are pinched or in a bind, stand clear of the area and allow the crane operator to pull the straps free. A single hoist load tends to sway like a single dog load. Stand near the middle of the trailer to leave the maximum possible space to guide the load from its end. Guide it carefully into place and stand well clear. If our message of safety hasn't hit home, then you've not paid attention to this video. It may save a few seconds to jump from the trailer, but jumping off the trailer has caused many injuries. Be sure to use the ladder while mounting and dismounting the trailer. This is always the safest way. No part of your body should ever be placed under any suspended material at any time for any reason. Be sure your hand signals are clearly visible. Always be mindful of your surroundings. You must focus on the task at hand. If you daydream about some other issue, things can go wrong fast, causing you and Siskin to suffer the consequences. Stay focused.
We have shown you some of the main safety features of loading trucks. There are many others as you will discover. The best and safest way to work is to stay aware and to stay calm. If you get irritated and show your irritation, pretty soon everyone around you will be irritated too and working safe and smart just stops. Stay calm, it's the best way to get the job done. Ask your trainer or supervisor if you have questions. They are there to help you. We hope that you will find that loading is satisfying work. Welcome again to your new position and welcome to the Siskin team.